Hello, I'm Steve Haston. I'm the Foundation Director for the Academy of Model Aeronautics, and I'm here today at Joe Nall. It's rained out a little bit. My first time. I'm super excited to be here, and I'm here with Rusty. And I'm, I'm Rusty Kennedy. I'm chairman of the AMA Foundation, and my job is to, to, to collect money. That's what I do, and uh, that's what foundations do. We do a good job at it. Uh, my favorite program in, in the foundation is, is the Torchbearer program. It's, it allows you to donate monthly uh, any amount that you would like to give. Uh, we have the Brick pro program, and I've, I've purchased bricks. And uh, I, I've been an AMA member a long time. Uh, I'm a lifetime member. Uh, I enjoy the foundation quite a bit. Uh, we have a great staff in Steve and Rachel and Austin who couldn't be with us today. But if you have any questions, never, never hesitate to just give us a call. We're, we're on the website, AMA Foundation, and, and you just click the button and it'll take you right to anybody you need, need to meet. Um, we work very, we work, we work hard. I, I, I'll brag a little bit. We work, we do work hard to, 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 uh, to collect and build an endowment uh, for, for AMA. It's a, so AMA can continue to have good funded programs such as education programs, flying site improvement grants, emergency money, uh, AEDs are, are coming on online. Uh, all the information is available. My name is there. If you go under uh, members of the board, uh, you'll see my phone number there. I'm retired. You can call me 23 and a half hours a day. If I don't answer the answer the phone, that's the half hour I'm off. Uh, and I'll give it back to Steve for just a few minutes. Yeah, and I do a good job at calling Rusty anytime, and he's always there to help us. So your foundation is working hard for you. Rusty, how long have you been actually in model aviation? I mean, it's a passion of yours, right? Yeah, well, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you, I'm, I'm almost 69 years old. I started flying half A models uh, when I was six years old. Uh, my dad built ship models. I had no interest in ship models, but I wanted to fly model airplanes. So he got me a model airplane and, and an engine, and I, and I learned to fly them. And a little funny story on that is my dad gave me an X-Acto knife with a number 11 blade in it. And before he could get out, don't cut yourself, I was already bleeding. And luckily my mother was a nurse, so she patched me up and went back to work. But I've been flying um, most of, all, almost all the time. And I, I flew control lines until about 1979. And then I, I got into radio control, but I still fly some control line, mainly half a, half a stuff. I, I enjoy it. Although it's tough to go in a circle anymore, so. Yeah, yeah, my dad did the same. He got us started in there. And, um, you know, it's been a passion of mine as well, flying and doing all those kind of things as well. Um, so, you know, we're getting ready to launch some other programs and you've been very instrumental in that. Um, how, how do you feel about the uh, the new and improved uh, Walk of Fame, some of those th items? Yeah, the Walk of Fame is another thing I like. Um, uh, you can buy a brick. You don't, it doesn't have to be model airplane. I bought one from my dad. Like I said, my dad was a ship modeler. So I put you know his name and I, underneath it, I put Master Ship Modeler. Uh, but it's a lot of fun to, to go out there and walk it. We've got a kiosk being put up that you'll be able to find bricks in, in there and go out and, and and look at it, so enjoy it. It's, it's yours to enjoy. Uh, I, if you can, if you want to buy a brick, I'd appreciate it. You know, and we have two different size bricks that are available. Uh, and, uh, it, it's not hard to do. Yeah, and we really want you to go out and check out the new foundation website. We've worked hard to brand it, to give new tools, uh, more intuitive features. You'll find it extremely helpful and interesting, and all those. Uh, tools are user friendly and 100% free uh, for our members um, who we greatly appreciate all of your philanthropic efforts um, and commitment and passion for the hobby. Um, where do you see the future going, Rusty, with the foundation, including the endowment? Well, I see big things with the endowment and all that. It, it grows every year. We have some we have members that there's a thing called legacy giving, which is basically you, you put AMA in your will and, and, and all. It's not hard to do, and we're, we're going to be launching a program. You'll hear soon about that on how to do that. Uh, we get a lot of calls on that uh, to, do, to do that. Uh, I, I won't kid you, you know, it, it's, it's, we're, we're a small organization. But you know, there's if you if you want if you want it to continue to grow and, and grow bigger and bring young people into the organization, that the, the foundation is there to help help you and help AMA grow grow the organization all all the time. So. Well, it looks like they're getting ready to fly again here at Joe Nall. Fuel your passion, and we'll see you soon. Thank you. Thank you for being a member of AMA.